For the next step, we will start preparing the, the casing so that we can protect our chatter's circuit boards. Now here's the fun part. Each one of these casings has this protective layer on top that protects them from being scratched in transportation or uh, production. So you have to take each one of these casings and then just gently scratch the surface of the plastic to remove this uh, plastic film. Remember to remove the plastic film from both sides of your casing. At the end, your casing should look like this, so perfectly clear with no white film on it. For the next step, we will assemble the front side of the casing that will protect your chatter circuit board from being damaged. For this part, we will need one of these pieces and one of these plastic pieces. Also, we will need to find four black screws and four black plastic spacers. Spacers are these tiny plastic things that look like this, and the screws, they look like this. A few moments later. For the next step, we need to put this part of the casing on top of this one. Make sure you have put them the right way. <clears throat> As you can see, it needs to look like this so that it goes the right way on top of your circuit board. Take your screwdriver and put one of the screws like this on top. On the bottom part, you can put the plastic spacer like this and then you can lightly tighten them with your screwdriver just like this. Repeat this for all of the four small screw holes here. The final product should look like this. So this goes, as you can see, on top of your circuit board like this, and these four small spacers and screws will keep the right distance between the circuit board and your casing. Let's move on and let's put the button caps on top of each one of these small push buttons on the circuit board. The button caps will prevent your fingers from hurting and will provide a good texting experience. You will have to find 16 of these tiny plastic parts that go on top of the push buttons. The button caps go on your push buttons like this. You just have to gently press the button cap and it will just slide on top of the push button. You should feel a small click sound when putting the button cap in place and they should go all the way down just like this. After putting all the button caps on the circuit board, your project should look like this. So 16 of these tiny button caps, they should do an audible click sound just like this. <laughs> 